myself now. Cystic fibrosis, as you know, I have to be extremely careful around other people with CF. The rule is that we're not supposed to get... Hi, May. I'm just watching a movie here, but I'm hearing you about the tragic story. What is the matter? Uh, the main character is apparently a slobber because they have a chronic illness. Wait, what is the illness about? Um, I don't really know about the illness, but I think it's called cystic fibrosis. Oh, well, we've heard about that. Um, I'm wondering about the... Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease that causes tissue muscles to fill up the lungs and digestive system. More than 30,000 Americans suffer from cystic fibrosis and it is increasing continuously. Some symptoms that can appear due to CF are prolonged health and shortness of breath. It could be worsened by the appearance of pseudomonas aeruginosa bacteria. CF screening in newborns is not available in certain countries and commonly mistaken for asthma or recurrent bronchitis. This disease is a strong predictor of mortality by decline in lung function, so CF lung disease requires appropriate treatment. Hello everyone, my name is Anira Arda Penulis Fari Elsa from SMA Negeri 3 Semarang. And my name is Nasal Sazia Diev Jentop from SMA Negeri 3 Semarang. And we will present our scientific project with the title Combinations of semi-gluten extract with petal leaves as an alternative antibacterial mucolytic drug in cystic fibrosis action using the in vitro method. From research before, semi and petal leaves contain flavonoid, alkaloid, steroid, and tannin. So, in this research, we want to combine semi root and petal leaf as an alternative antibacterial mucolytic drug in cystic fibrosis patient. Our purpose in making this innovation are First, is to determine the quality of nanoparticles from sugar and beta leaf extracts to increase their potential as alternative mucolytic and antibacterial drugs for patients with cystic fibrosis. Second, is knowing the composition of sugar extract and beta leaf is increasing its potential as an alternative mucolytic and antibacterial drugs in patients with cystic fibrosis. And the last one is analyzing the bioactive compound in single bluetooth and battle leaves to increase their potential as an alternative nephalitic and antibacterial drugs for patients with cystic fibrosis. We use single bluetooths that we got from Imogiri Bentol, Yogyakarta. And for battle leaves, we found it from the environment around us. Next, we are moving on to the method. In this research, we use single bluetooth and battle leaf as the main ingredients. And this is the other region that we use in our project. First, we are doing extraction. And then this is our testing. In the result of other chemical tests, we can see that single bluetooth and metal leaf contains alkaloid, flavonoid, steroid, and tannin, which have been proven to have activities as anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. From the PSA test result, single bluetooth has nanoparticle size on 338.1 mm and metal leaf has nanoparticle size on 298.5 nm. It means that single bluetooth and metal leaf can be effectively absorbed by the lungs and categorized as drugs delivery for cystic fibrosis patients. From the results of in vitro test shows that sample C with the composition Sungugu with petalis 2 compare 1 has the most optimal inhibitory power on 10.1 to 5 mm against of the growth of Pseudomonas aeruginosa bacteria. If the growth of Pseudomonas aeruginosa bacteria can be inhibited, the toxin should be produced normally and be able to fight the bacteria. Based on the mucolytic test result, the optimal extract to produce a dark egg wet solution with the lowest viscosity is extract C, which is a combination extract of sungugudu and metal leaves with ratio 2 compared 1, showing lowest viscosity at 60 minutes of 66 centimeters. This shows that combination of sungugudu and metal leaves extract 
can be used as an alternative mucolytic drug or mucus thinner in patients with cystic fibrosis. From the in silico toxicity test result, the most dominant secondary compound in single durut is turmasterol with the binding ability value on negative 7.5 kcal per mole. And for venal leaf is lanosterol with the binding ability value on negative 7 kcal per mole. The more negative the value, the more effective as drugs can be get. And it can be concluded that single durut and venal leaf has the potential as an alternative medicine for patients with cystic fibrosis. The maximum dose that can be given is 890 mg per kg produced per day, so it's a category for consumption. This research has various benefits for society, institutions, medical personnel, teachers, and students. This research can be the basis for finding natural treatment for cystic fibrosis patients and can be applied as an official treatment that can be offered to cystic fibrosis patients. The conclusion is that single group extracts contain a steroid derivative compound is sterol, and betulip contain a steroid compound is lanosterol that can increase its potential as alternative mucolytic antibacterial drugs for cystic fibrosis patients. In the future, this research will continue to be developed by doing in vivo tests, so the result of this research can be applied more safely for patients with cystic fibrosis. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to support us in Indonesian Science Project Olympiad 2024 by liking and sharing this video. See you!